I was getting really frustrated at how many people were using single-use plastic bottles. I think it's 10 years, 8 months until um, we reach a tipping point of no return. I'll be honest, I don't think I'm doing that. Just, it's a, just about setting an example to the next generation, the generation after them. About um, three months ago we had a, uh, a live World War II hand grenade uh, brought into this site which we, we had to close the site down and the bomb squad got called out and then it got took over to the local field over there and um, safely detonated. I mean, we have got a, an education centre up at um, Amy Waterbeach um, where we get schools coming in and we need to hit the younger generations so they start recycling now and, and just make sure everything goes in the right places. I used to be a, a prolific consumer of bottled water and then when I decided I was no longer buy it, gonna buy it, I just found it really easy to keep a bottle in my bag at all times. If you can reduce the number of uh, items you're sending to recycling, you know, you're reducing the energy that it takes to recycle. Uh, I also think that the system has so much room for improvement. And actually, for young engineers, I think streamlining the recycling process is going to be one of the biggest challenges over the next 15, 20 years. And actually what should be happening is we've got more blue bin waste because that can get reused, recycled, remade, and that should be what we're putting outside of our doors, much more than black bin waste. What to do with your deodorant? This goes in the blue. We really want Cambridge to commit to um, carbon neutrality, um, which will involve um, divesting from fossil fuels, investing in green technology and um, investing in better public transport. By 2021, we would like the University of Cambridge to be completely free of selling single-use plastics. I think, yes, we want to change behaviour, but it's about system change as well as lifestyle change. And we need policies that reflect the fact that we have only got sort of 11 years left to do something about it. Just by putting on this 5P chat tax, we've completely changed culture and we've changed habits. And so I think government intervention is the best way to affect change. But I also think telling people that it is possible, like their actions really do have positive consequences, is also a great way. Mm -hmm.